Okay. I'm Kurt Sonnenberg, I'm the Director General of uh, DG Climate Action at the European Commission and we're here to support Kenya and the African continent in exploiting the massive opportunities that are there thanks to climate action. Uh, we believe that President Ruto is taking exactly the right approach of um, a new narrative that really um, expands on the role of Africa as a continent of solutions um, that will bring to the table for its own development, but also for the rest of the world, everything that is needed uh, for succeeding in this climate and clean energy transition. Africa has plenty of renewable uh, energy capacity. It has a young population. It has innovation uh, potential. It has lots of the green minerals that Africa and the rest of the world will need. What we, what I hear now and what I experience at this summit is tremendous energy to start exploiting that uh, potential. And that's what the European Union will want to do. Uh, stand at the side of the African Union and of Kenya and all the African countries to make sure that climate action is an agenda for prosperity, uh, for enhancing the prosperity and the role of Africa in the world. And obviously, we would also like that the African countries support us at the upcoming COP28 um, for an ambitious outcome of this conference of parties. Um, this decade is a critical decade, both for the development of Africa and for succeeding in our climate ambition. And the African summit here, the African Climate Summit, is exactly the right way to go about it. So you talk about the solutions that Africa does hold, and in comparison to Europe, uh, would you say that some of these solutions actually tie together or are able to be, uh, they, say, they resonate with one voice? What are your thoughts? It's really win-win for Africa and for Europe. Um, Africa has tremendous potential in renewable energy, actually 20 times more than Europe, uh, just in solar energy. If it has that renewable energy capacity, it also means that it can industrialize in a very green and sustainable manner. So Africa can industrialize, it can produce not only renewable electricity for its own population and its own development, but it can also produce green hydrogen, for example. Um, and Europe has said that by 2030, it wants to import 10 million tons of renewable hydrogen from the rest of the world. This is an opportunity for Africa, which is in Africa's interest and also in our interest. And that's the future of our partnership. This is good about the future. From where you're standing, how sustainable do you think this particular summit and the implementations that we're looking forward to put in will stand? Well, you know, um, there's a saying that vision without action is a daydream. But action without vision is a nightmare. And what this climate summit is doing, it is bringing the vision to the table. And now we need to also act on it. I see that action is already happening. I have seen many examples now brought to the table by African ministers and CEOs of companies where this investment is happening. For example, in Burundi, where soon they will retire a thermal uh, power plants. Um, so it is happening. What we now need to do is scale this up, speed this up, make sure that the private sector is investing in Africa, which requires, of course, a good conducive policy and regulatory framework. And that is what uh, we want to support Africa in doing. Kurt, thank you so much for your time. Do you have a parting shot for Africa? The future of the planet is a climate-friendly development, and Africa is a champion of this. Thank you so much. Have yourself a good day.